The major cities in England outside London all face a crisis of growth over the next 10 years. They're mostly very strongly public sector dependent. Growth is low in any event. They have a big challenge attracting businesses and jobs into their cities. Mayors able to present the cities more effectively nationally and internationally and act as the spokespeople for the whole city and not just for the city council have a real opportunity city by city to put in place policies that generate growth. Well, cities are absolutely key to the economic growth of the whole UK. They cover just 9% of the land, but produce over 60% of the UK's economic output. So we know we have to get cities right. We also know that economic growth looks really different in different cities. So over the last decade, Manchester and Leeds did really well, much better than Birmingham and Bradford. So you've got a situation where you need to be quite flexible in the policies you've got for different cities, because Manchester and Leeds did so well, Birmingham and Bradford less well. So a system like the mayoral system can actually be a way of being flexible and responding to the very different challenges cities have. And you just need to look at the success of the Mayor of London in the last 10 years by very innovative public-private partnerships put together by Ken Livingston and Boris Johnson. Inconceivable that would have been done without the Mayor of London. The Olympics and big inward investment that have come in in a whole host of different ways, again, pioneered and led in many ways uh, by the Mayor of London. Skills, a big priority of the Mayor of London, hugely important for cities uh, outside London too, and crucially also planning. The Mayor of London is able to deal with the big congenital problem of nimbyism because the Mayor, who represents the entirety of London and not just one part of it, himself takes the major strategic planning decisions for the city. Now, at the moment, some cities are doing rather well with leadership, others less well but all face some common challenges that actually mayors could help to overcome. So some of the things that mayors could help with, being decisive, taking some of those big strategic decisions that make a difference, representative, actually re representing cities to government, but also to businesses, uh, pulling things together, being coherent and making sure policies work across an area, and also collaborating, so working across areas. So we think that mayors have the potential to help overcome these four barriers to economic growth and really to respond to the very different situations in different cities.